What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Back at it again with some Ford content. I'm saying Ford content and not Mustang content because technically this is the top secret mission that we don't exactly know what's going on. Says one of your stories didn't scrap. Has a letter B on it right next to it. It's supposed to be scrap. It's crazy. Yep, it's supposed to be scrap. And I said we because I'm with my homie, Freddy. Say what's up, Freddy. What's going on, guys? All right, so what are we doing today? So today we're on a mission down this highway to go find a motor that is not supposed to be out there. Yep, so technically, this motor doesn't exist. Why? Because it's a prototype. It wasn't supposed to see the light of day. Usually Ford crushes these sort of things because they don't want people to see kind of the inside stuff, the stuff that really doesn't ever make it out to light. So yeah, we're headed uh, down to Southern California, about a 500 mile drive. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna uh, check this thing out. We've only seen photos of it. This thing was basically built back in the late 90s, so it's been basically hiding for about 20 years. So we're gonna continue driving down. We'll bring it to you in the morning. morning of this is the morning we find out if this is real or not breakfast of champions baby oh my god all right now we're on our way to the shop with this uh supposed prototype motor sitting like i said this motor's been sitting since 98 i have no idea what we're in for we could have driven down here for for nothing for a fake cobra motor but uh i suppose we're gonna see man freddy's a gambling man so we're gonna see what's up. What do you think, dude? You think it's real? Uh, I hope. We just spent almost 12 hours to get here. All right, here we go. Within a few minutes. like the prototype of engine does exist so this thing's pretty crazy it's a twin turbo 4.6 liter tested block has a build date of 1999 four valve motor twin turbos all kinds of custom fabrication looks like it was built by watson racing um it's got a lot of cool kind of small details i'll show you here so check this out look so fabricated twin turbo kit it looks like it's a dry pump boiling system, is what we're kind of thinking. So it's got a set of twins on it. A lot of fabrication work here. And all this metal, um, all the intake piping stuff, like that's some pretty high tech <laughs> Watson Engineering model release, built in 9-15-98. And what's crazy is, look. Prototype build, pretty crazy. And so we're gonna get a better look at this uh, in a little, little bit, but something we noticed here, check this out. So it looks like a stock manifold, right? But look, it's a welded plate on it. So I'm wondering if inside the thing has been opened up and completely sealed up. So it definitely exists, man. This is a prototype motor that literally should not have seen the light of day. It's got heads with a date of 7-26-99, but it's got a build date of 9-15-98, so I don't really know, you know? Maybe the twin turbo kit was built a year prior and uh, then they use later heads. It definitely has an aluminum block on it, which is pretty uh, interesting. So, Cobra intake manifold. So, who knows, man? This is a piece of Ford history for sure. We technically shouldn't be seeing this thing. Generally, prototypes get destroyed. So, we're gonna do some research to find out what was this destined for? Was this destined for maybe the Super Stallion? Uh, was this destined for like an OEM type stuff? Like we really don't know, man. It's on the ground.
It's an intercooler, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I think it's basically cool. Yeah, you're right. Look at the two ports here. Yep. And then the ports right here, look. Yep. Because I know Kenny Bell does the, their anti-manifold yeah. with ports like that. Yep. And, it looks like and look, this is all welded on. Look, see? Yep. Wow. So is the intercooler buried in the manifold? Right? That's why it's welded like right that. Exactly. Yeah. That's crazy. So it's a Cobra. It's a 99-01 Cobra intake manifold with an intercooler inside. Can you get a flashlight? There you go. There, I can see it there. Part number XR3E-C5B. It's a military green injector rated for 42, 43 PA. 43 and a half. Monte. Says one of your stories being scrapped has a letter B on it right next to it. It's supposed to be scrapped. That's crazy. What's it say? Requester? Mark what? Mark, Mark Bear? Yeah, Mark Bear. Yeah, it's supposed to be scrapped. This was dated back in 01. I mean 07. Yep. It's got all kinds of different dates on it. I'm getting it. Alright, so we're back. That was definitely a journey for the books. Cold start. Nothing like a cold start on a camp GT500. We covered over a thousand miles in under 24 hours, and we found out that the prototype motor in fact exists. It not only exists, but Freddie bought the thing. We brought it all the way back. And while Freddie does, he's not sure what he's gonna do with the thing, we both hope that it ultimately ends up in a museum or in a collection. Because as I said, this is a piece of Ford history. This is a piece of history that really shouldn't have escaped kind of the Ford proving grounds. But we're thankful that it did because ultimately this would be great for like a museum or a collection. So if you're interested in this motor or you know somebody who'd be interested in this motor, hit me up on my Instagram at Race Gas Smells Good and I can get you in contact with Freddie. In the meantime, we're gonna do more research to see, was this motor like the precursor to the EcoBoost? Like was Ford already thinking about forced induction back in the late 90s? Because oftentimes prototype motors are looking five or 10 or 15 years down the road. So they're working on something say in the year 2000, that would be released around 2010. And coincidentally, EcoBoost came out in around 2011, right? It's not out of the question. Or was this motor kind of destined for, like we said, the Super Stallion, something that was like destined for SEMA or more of like a Halo build that really is just produced, not with the intent of ever making it on a large scale. It's produced just to kind of show the capabilities of the manufacturer. Or was this just more of a kind of an engineering exploration just to kind of see what is what does the twin turbo modular look like? I suppose we'll never know. But if you have any information on this, or you know somebody who was involved with this motor, or you know somebody who knows somebody, definitely leave a comment or reach out. I'm curious. Or just share your comments down below. What do you think? What do you think this motor was created for? So I hope you enjoyed our prototype adventure. Got a lot more content coming to the channel. Until the next one.